Let's go. Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich, and I'm here with Investing Hustler. How you doing today, buddy? Going on, man. What's going on, Rich? So oh, man. it's been a crazy, 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 crazy day so far. Um, first of all, happy Christmas Eve. How you doing? You know, happy Christmas Eve to you and to all your family and to everyone that's watching all over the world. I just wanted to wish everybody a happy Christmas Eve and to you especially, Mr. Investing Hustler. Uh, Merry Christmas to you too. What are your and plans for the holidays? <laughs> my plans for the holidays, man, honestly, as I'm going to be with my kids. So, you know, going to do the Christmas thing with my children. Yeah. And throughout the holidays, I'm just going to keep making videos for you, the people, and, and continue to collaborate and continue to, to, to look underneath every single stone and leave no stone unturned to make sure we keep finding you guys the winners. Yep. Because if you're not winning, you're not watching, right? <laughs> It's true. It's true. And even in a market like this, where right now the Dow Jones is in a bloodbath again, the global economy seems like it's just under siege. We still are seeing momentum in the cannabis stocks. Earlier today, the cannabis stocks were down. Everything was red. Now it's actually been a massive trend reversal. In fact, we see Afria up 16%. Oh, wow, they're still continuing to climb, eh? And Oxley up. Just under 16%? Yeah. So that's a good sign. Uh, canopy growth up almost 5% and climbing as we speak. Kronos Group up 1%. Aurora Cannabis up just under 3%. So all the top dogs seem to be up. Yeah. Do you think this is the beginning of a Santa Claus rally or it's just like a one-day movement? I don't know. I think that uh, the cannabis stocks seem to move with cryptocurrency. And the cryptos lately have had a nice bounce. And it seems as though the cannabis stocks seem to be having a nice bounce, even though the rest of the world is selling off. Because yeah. as you can see, the Dow Jones is down. And I know oil and gas has recently been down. But one safe haven that people should be looking into is gold. Because whenever the rest of the world is in uncertain times, and we are in the midst of what they call a recession or a bear market, a lot of investors turn to gold. What do you think about that? Well, it is um, a good asset to have. It, it's not very volatile, so you won't be making a lot of money. But when everything's going down, a lot of people trust gold because it's an actual physical asset that you can own. Unlike stocks, it's more like um, technology. It's all, it's all paper. It's all it's all online stuff. So gold, it's a physical asset. And for sure, it's, it's a good commodity to own. I'm looking at a gold stock. Maybe you can pull it up. It's called B2B. Tell me about it. B2B. Yep. They're up 0.18%. The reason I like it is if you actually um, would go to barchart.com, you would be able to see that they are a 96% buy on bar chart with the strongest short-term outlook on maintaining the current direction. Longer term, the trend strength is maximum. Long-term indicators fully support a continuation of this trend. So bar chart is looking very highly upon B2 gold. And I did my research and they made over 200 million in the last quarter. So they are generating a lot of revenue and at $2 and 80 cents right now, BTG to me looks like a company symbol BTG. It looks like a company that has huge, huge, huge upside. If you like gold. And I know it's up, I think about, I'm just pulling up the, looking at it right now on bar chart. Well, they're up 0.72%. They have a... a they're up 33% since August. Um, so if they've been on a steady climb, kind of slowly climbing since, as you see that climb there? Since... Um, right here. Yeah, right here. Correct, yeah. You can see that they've been on a steady climb since August. So they've been a little bit higher. They've come down recently as, as, as much as August. And now they're up 30% since August. And right now with all the uncertainty, could we see B2 Gold maybe climb higher? I mean, a company whose revenue is, is going in the right direction, has a lot of momentum, a gold yeah. stock, and a lot of people are looking for a safe haven right now. So are they going to be looking at B2 Gold? Well, they do have a market cap of two point seven two billion. They have nine hundred and eighty nine million outstanding shares and a P ratio of twenty seven. Um, so that means they are a profitable company. This is the first time I'm hearing about them. 
And if you look at the analysis, it's a buy, a strong buy, and a strong buy. So, could be one of those gold companies that uh, you know you never know. It could be a sneak attack and just could shock the world. Another company, if you guys like penny stocks, another company that's on fire today is N O U V. Take a look at this one. Yeah, this is a super sub penny stock. It came out of nowhere. Everyone in our community has been talking about it. We can't buy it in Canada. It's crazy. You avoid like pharmaceuticals? Yes. It has been on fire. We can't buy it in Canada. It has just been on fire. It's like just insane. Look at it today, up 50%. This thing has come up from like the double, the triple O two range mm -hmm. all the way up to the double O one five range in the last few days, the last few trading days. Yep. Like literally exploded. It's up about a thousand percent, just under a thousand percent in the last couple of trading days. Yeah, it seemed that it had it had a nice resistance at triple zero three, and then once it broke that, it just exploded, and now um yeah, it's up fifty percent today. Wow. Nuvo Life Pharmaceuticals. We can't buy it in Canada, but for for a lot of you investors in America, this is one that's been making a lot of money for our membership. The bar chart technical opinion rating is 88% buy with a strongest short-term outlook on maintaining the current direction. Long-term, the trend strength is maximum. Long-term indicators fully support a continuation of this trend. Lots of power there. Lots of power there. So even in a bear market, we are still finding winners. Now let me show you one more. Take a look at NHPI, another penny stock. Would you would you buy that company right now though, even though it's went up fifty percent in one day? Um, I would try to wait for a dip. Yeah. But because it's doing, it's partnered up with a lot of other companies like Cali that have been on fire. Uh, so, you know, I, I you could ride it as a momentum play. Let's just put it that way. But it's one of those you got to be in and out really quickly. Be with careful. A stop loss for sure, just in case it decides to. Um... These are very risky plays, but they are. They're, they have a ton of momentum. As you can see, this one right here. 95% yeah, in one day. Wow. Yeah. So these are stocks that members within our community are winning on. They're day trading them. Uh, NHPI has made a huge move, as you can see, way higher just recently. And then they just came right back down. And now they're hitting the floor and they're bouncing back up again. So this is just another momentum trade. I wouldn't chase it up 95%. But it's one that you can put on your watch list, put it on your radar. It is moving today. And even in a bear market where the markets are really bare and the Dow Jones is heavily oversold, you can still make money and you can still find winners. And that's what we want to try to prove to the membership is, hey, I know it's tough out there. I know the markets are difficult, but you can still find winners. So let's keep our eyes and ears on the prize and let's continue to find these winners before they explode. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. 95% in one day would be very nice. And I like this company. It has a very small market cap, 8.4 million, only 31 million outstanding shares, which probably explains why it's so volatile. Um, what, what, is, what, is, what does this company sell? Hi, Neuro High Tech. I guess it's so a pharmaceutical. I need, to, I need to research it further. It's, it's oh. one that was given to me within my membership, within our community. So I haven't researched it that in detail but yeah. it is one that has been going up and down and I can't tell you too much about it because I haven't researched it personally and I don't own it, but it is one that has exploded today. So I thought I'd bring it to your attention. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you would definitely have to do a lot of research on it or it could just be an, a nice swing trade and now they're up a hundred percent. So it does seem that they're just climbing right now. Lots of momentum there. So this is what I'm talking about momentum trading. You can still find momentum. You can still make money even in a bear market. Now, investing hustler, man, I wish you an amazing holidays. We're going to have to go now. So have Happy yourself a Merry time. Christmas, my friend. And you, everyone have a Merry Christmas. And have yourselves a Merry Christmas Eve. Don't drink and drive. Don't smoke and fly. Okay. Abide by the rules, okay? This is your boy Rich, an investing hustler, bringing you the winners. Even in a bear market, you can still make money. It's true. Yep, 100% in one day. <laughs> investing hustler, man. Thank you for your time again today. Yeah, thanks for having me, Rich. Uh, we're we're going to try to have a collab later on with uh, Departures Capital. Everyone's busy nowadays because the holidays, so we're going to try to squeeze these collabs in as we can. All right, brother. All right, we'll catch you guys later.
Have you a good one. If you're not watching, this is your boy Rich with Investing Hustler, and we're out. Take it easy. Peace.